I am, I actually have my own um, property management company. I basically source tenants for landlords. I market advertise the property, interview the, the tenants, and then do any background checking, screen the credit checks, etc. And then from there, if the tenant's placed, I manage the tenancy. So take care of any maintenance, repairs, um, just anything that is done really. Collect the rent, handle it. The rent's not getting paid, deal with repayments or evictions, whatever is necessary. It was actually, I was in downtown Peterborough one evening, just completely something separate. I bumped into Michael van der Herbert and we were just chatting briefly over a few minutes. Um, I was always new to the country, he probably spotted the accent and he gave me his card. And a long time later I, I emailed him and asked about, you know, I actually I sent an email that if there's anything, if it's just going to be resumes and help with interviews, then I don't need that. That's what I thought it was at first. And he said, no, no, so he invited me in and, and then I get set up with uh, Gabriel and my mentor and it was, it was actually a phenomenal help. I, had, I couldn't believe it. From what I thought it was going to be to what the actual support and help I got, um, it's been fantastic. It's a great way to just, it makes you a bit more welcome for one. It's difficult to, to find out how to approach things when you're, when you're even, even when British and Canadian culture is so similar in so many ways, but when you're job hunting, it's so different as well. And I didn't really think about it that way. So um, having a mentor in the city felt great. A small example is, over here it's the norm that nobody writes back to you unless they want to actually invite you for interview. Whereas in the UK, you always get um, some sort of paperwork. So in the beginning I thought, you know, is it me, am I doing something wrong? But then you just have somebody that knows you know, the city knows how things work, so you know, that's perfectly normal. They'll never write back to you unless they want to speak to you more. And now all of a sudden realise it's not me. So I was delighted with that, just a small thing. Um, so it's great just to have somebody on your side that knows what you're looking out for, the, the things you're um, trying to get involved in, and um, is there for you. I'd say that uh, my first thought was I don't really need a mentor. And after actually having a mentor in the city, it's, it's been great. Well, my mentor, Chris, um, has helped me get know people in the community a lot more. She's put me in touch with a few people and um, at that time I was job hunting for HR. So she put me in contact with HR people. Um, maybe they weren't looking for anything, but it was good to touch base. I've met them at networking events. I know that if things have to come up in the future, uh, you know, my my face is on their mind already. You see my resume, there's a connection there. So um, having a mentor, it's just been, it's been a fantastic way just to get around the city, to go to these networking events we've now been going to, which are crucial to finding HR work and also my own business, um, have been, it's just been a phenomenal resource.